Welcome back to Vanali Co. I'm Ilana and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I install this HD 360 lace wig and I love this one especially because not only is it HD but it is a single knot which you will see even more clearly after I install it but that means in each hole of the lace it is just knotted once that way it's not a very bulky and noticeable look that gives it more of that wig appearance it looks like it's coming naturally out of your scalp like you want it to without you needing to do work bleaching it or even really having to do makeup but that all comes down to preference if you just want to customize your wig even more now the curls this is a water wave which i haven't really done anything this curly before so i definitely wanted to try a different texture and play around and the length is 16 inches so for me that's long enough to kind of drape down your back over your shoulder to about here and of course because it's curly it will appear a little bit shorter as well but the color is a gorgeous number four which is a very soft and natural brown which again is a color that i've never tried either i've only ever done like your natural um, blacks or lately platinum blonde and red but nothing as soft and natural as this number four so if you guys are ready we are going to dive in now starting with the inside of the unit what we mean by 360 lace is that you have your parting in the front nice deep parting and then the lace carries around and some on the bottom that way if you wanted to you can still do um, an updo and things like that with the regular tracks in the center so i already have my straps tightened as you can see and i do have an elastic band now the elastic band you can adjust slightly on the inside construction of the wig these are things that i'm still tweaking because i honestly like the bands better that allow you to um, attach and detach with similar hooks to like your bra strap uh, i feel like those are easier and as you can see mine are kind of slipping out but no worries that's because there's no tension on it as soon as you put the actual wig on it that does not happen so i'm just gonna adjust my bottom strap So this is how you would apply your wig with an elastic band. You want the front part facing you, and then you'll dip your head down and place it over. Then you can adjust the front just like that. So literally within a matter of seconds, you can have an entirely new look. Now, the cap size for this is a small, which for me fit quite nicely because sometimes if it is a little large, I will use a wig grip headband. These are amazing. So if you ever feel like it's not as snug as you like or maybe you just want to be able to have a little bit more freedom and just use a little bit of hairspray for the application process this will keep your wig in place and i like to get a lighter color because you can use a little bit of makeup and blend it to your skin tone like i said this one fits really nice and snug on its own so i didn't really need that but i will still be using some on the corners because i find kind of no matter what i do with my wigs i still want a little bit of extra security on the side but that is where our free spray comes in and takes care of the job now i am a huge fan of side parts so i'm going to be using my hot comb to flatten this out slightly and if you see me looking down i'm sorry i'm looking into my mirror so i can see better now when it comes to your wigs uh although it is a protective hairstyle you still want to take care of your hair it's still natural hair so i am trying out a new heat protecting spray it's by ion 
So I'm going to spray that on just onto the roots a little bit on the perimeter because that's where I'm going to be smoothing it out just so it lays a little bit more and it's not as full. Again, this all comes down to preference just to give a slightly more natural look. But you are gonna see in a little bit just how gorgeous the lace and the parting looks. So I already have my hot comb ready to go. This is a new addition to my hairstyling routine and I must say I love it. It comes in handy for so many different things. So let me start with my parting, or the edge I should say, just to smooth it out a little bit. And I've already pre-cut the lace so it can fit nice and snug and comfortable behind my ear without lifting up. That is a huge important step of customizing your wig and making it look as natural as possible. Now you see I only want to do the roots. I don't want to go in much further because I don't want to flatten or mess with the curl pattern much at all. I just want it to lay down a little bit extra. And I don't have it set very hot either. I believe really I have it on like a 350. Just enough to give me a little bit of a smoothing effect without putting too much unnecessary heat on the wig itself. You can see that helps smooth down. And you see a beautiful shine from that heat protectant as well because you want to make sure you're moisturizing your hair. So speaking of which, we are going to wet down our curls because with curly textures, you never want to brush it. Brushing it will only damage your hair. It will make it frizzy. You want to just use your fingers if possible. That is always the best option. And if not, use a very wide tooth comb. Of course, starting from the bottom ends to the roots. Never the opposite way because that will cause more tangles and it will eventually ruin the hair, causing breakage. And that's not what you want, especially because this particular wig is a single knot construction or invisible knot as some may call it. You want to be even more gentle because it's easier for the hair to come out as it would naturally with your own hair. So don't tug and pull unnecessarily so that way your wig can last even longer. Make sure you're getting the most out of your unit. Make sure I get the back. As you can see, these curls are beautiful. Love it. First, I was a little unsure because, as you can see, without putting any product, it can look a little puffy. I was so scared because I didn't think I would like the look, but this has ended up actually being my favorite wig because of how natural it looks. No one would even guess if they didn't know me that this wasn't my hair because it just looks amazing now i'm going to try out carol's daughter i've heard a lot about this product this is a style and hold foam but it also conditions as well it has oils acai extract and shea butter so I'm going to try this out just to give a little bit of extra definition and again moisture in the hair. I'm just 
Tea is my favorite. Set of a comb. Again, you can do either or, whatever works for you. Oh, it smells really good. It's really nice. just a little bit extra on the root of the hair itself. A little scrunch. Look at those curls. Bouncy, soft, defined. Love it. And I love how full it is. This is a 180% means how full your wig is and especially because of the curlier texture it's just so much volume for those who want a different look than their usual make sure I lay it down on the roots to eliminate any flyaways We miss my natural hair because I had a curly hair texture before my alopecia in middle school so this definitely brings me back my hair wasn't as curly but I just love love curls again on the roots Excuse me guys for this cough drop. I've been battling a cold and I wanted to avoid having a huge coughing attack on camera. Okay, so now that I have that out of the way, I'm actually not going to mess with the baby hair. It does have baby hair, but I think for the first time actually, because I'm a huge fan of baby hair, that it's not necessary. It looks so natural as you can see the hairline is amazing and I don't have to do anything to it I don't even need to add my makeup I'm just going to add some of the free spray on the corners so that way it lays down nice and flush and secure so try to catch it before it starts to run a little bit but if it does that's okay because any excess you can always rub off with either like a q-tip or whatever you use for your makeup okay while that dries a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and spray the other corner i love the free spray as an alternative to harsher glues because i used to wear my wigs 24 7 day and night and in order to have it secure i would do the entire lace with these very strong adhesives that were extreme hold and i would end up having very bad skin irritation from the pulling and just the longevity of the wigs that now that there are alternatives like hairspray which is genius holds just as well and when you're ready to take it off you can simply use water or even a little bit of oil i'm a huge fan of coconut oil or if you want if you have some rubbing alcohol that works just as good you may be thinking no way hairspray will not hold your wig down but trust me it's really really good and if you feel like it's not enough you can always add this in addition to it this and the hairspray gives you a mega hold so i'm just going to hold it down for a little bit because with the hairspray being that it's wet you do need it to dry fully in order to 
attach like you want it to. As you can see, it's already looking great. And look at that hairline. Pre-plucked, so natural. Then, going to do one more spray on the other side, just in case. And I like to do a few layers, just so it holds down even better. At least it does for me and on my skin. I'm gonna use my rat tail comb this time. sideburns or baby hair. Again, I apologize for looking down. I'm always glued to my mirror. Sorry, guys. Make sure those are nice and dry. Just gonna press a little extra firm. I like to use my nail as well on the very edge to pry down if you don't own a rat tail comb as an alternative. And that is it. A wet and go type look. Once you do it the very first time with the hot comb or curling iron, whatever you choose to use, I feel like that is all it needs. No extra work, no makeup, no work on the baby hairs, just natural. And very little came out onto my hands, even less than it would on natural hair, or maybe my daughter when I comb her curly hair, maybe even less than that. And it smells so good, I love that mousse. Very full, bouncy, and if you like for a little extra embellishment, might smooth back to accentuate this gorgeous hairline. Add a little clip. Gorgeous finished look. I've noticed that these oversized pins have become pretty popular lately. So you can do something like that as an option. But honestly, this hair, just a uh, regular middle part or to the side, fluffy with a little cast over the front of your face, I think is perfect. I'm loving it. Closer so you can see this beautiful hairline. A little bit of So pretty. And if you want to, you can accentuate the baby hair even more. This time I chose not to. Next time I just went. But I figured, hey, might as well. Just enjoy not having to do the extra work with the parting. It's just perfect. So guys, let me know what you think of this look and if it's something that you would like to try as well. Again, this can be in any texture. I chose to do this in a, uh, what do you call it? Like a, I believe it's called a water wave. I chose to do water wave because it was something different for me, but you can do this straight, body wave, deep wave, whatever it is that you like most. But 
It gives you a really good picture and idea of what HD lace is. And it works for all skin tones, which is why I love it even more. Because with your transparent laces, it can kind of give a white overcast and hue, which you have to spend extra time blending your makeup to cover over. All said, I love this hair. Super soft, gorgeous look. And again, this is a 16 inch 360 lace wig. HD lace, single knot, pre-plucked, so very beginner friendly. As you saw, I just put on the headband, flipped it over, and you're good to go. Besides a little bit of spray on the edges, and you have a gorgeous on-the-go look. So if you guys have liked this, please hit that button, subscribe, and comment below if you would like to see something else, something more in-depth, anything, any, all comments are very helpful. Thanks guys.